a topic called decimal place value. What do we call it as? Decimal place value. What is decimal place value? First of all, what is decimal? What is decimal? Nobody knows what is decimal. Okay. Fine. So I'll teach you what is decimal. Decimal means if there is any point, for example, example, 0 0.58. Okay. So, I have just inserted a dot over here. Right. There is a dot in between the numbers. Right. This point is called as decimal. This is called as decimal. If there is a number with a, with a point, we call it as decimal. For example, 9.82. This is also a decimal number. This is also a decimal number. Fine. So, whenever there is a point, we call it as decimal number. Okay. So, we are going to see this decimals in a place value. How to write place value in the decimals. Okay. So, already, so I will give one example, then I will write down what is the place value. Fine. Okay. So, let me just give you an example, then we will write the what in which place it is being situated okay so fine eight nine two one okay then five point I am keeping point because this is a decimal. 3, 5, 4. Okay. So, this is a decimal number. This is a decimal number. Okay. So, what is the basic place value that I have teached you? What is the basic place value? What will be the last digit? Ones. The next is things. Then, 100. Then, 1000, 10,000. Alright. So, towards the left of the decimal. Towards the left of the decimal. This point. So, towards left. Towards left. So, towards left, the first number is 5. So, we call this number as 1s. So, in which place this number is? 1s. Then, as usual, you could know that after 1s, 10s. 100, then 1000, then 10,000, right? Correct? Am I correct? Yes? Yes. So, towards the left of the decimal, starting will be the 1s. Starting number will be a 1s. Then, 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000. This is usually the place value, okay? Usually we know what is the play, basic place value. That basic place value will be towards the left of the decimal. Towards the left of the decimal, first will be the ones, then tens, under thousand, ten thousand. Fine? And then, yes. Okay. So, we have finished the left. We will go for the, towards the right. Towards the right of the point. Towards the right of the point. So, we call this number as 10th. We call it as T-E-N-T-H. 10th. Okay. Call it as 10th. So, this number 5 will be 100th. 5 will be 100th. Okay. Last will be T-H. Okay. 100th. 10th, 100th. Then, this one will be thousand or we call it as thousand 
fine right so towards the right first digit will be tens and the next digit will be hundred next digit will be thousand then what will be the next digit ten thousand next digit will be ten thousand we don't need that till here is it enough okay so three will be ten hundred thousand in every words, the last two letters will be th. Okay. Tenth, hundredth, thousandth. Okay. Fine. Done. Okay. You're clear with this? Yes. Okay. How to write this then? In ones place, how many zeros? No zeros. So, we'll write it as, as it is. In tens place, how many zero? One zero. In tens place, one zero. So, one zero. Okay, write the number and write one zero. Add one zero. In hundred place, how many zeros? Two zeros. Right. So write this number and add two zeros. Fine. In thousand place, how many zeros? Three zeros. Then add with this number. Three zeros. Fine. In ten thousand, four zeros. So eight, one, two, three, four. Four zeros. Fine. Done. So, this is already I have teach you and uh, repeatedly I am telling you just learn the basic place value then only you will understand the other place values. Okay. So, be thorough with it. Okay. Fine. So, I think uh, this towards the left of the decimal you are okay with it. Right. So, I think you will be 100% clear. Okay. Let's move to the right of the decimal. As I said, first number is 10th. Second number is 100th. Third number is 1000th. Right? So, what we are going to write this number as? We usually write 10th as 1 by 10. 10th as 1 by 10. 100th as 1 divided by 100. What is this 1 by 10, 1 by 100? What we call it is 1 by 10. What we call it as fractions. Yes. We call it as fractions. Right. So, we will see this chapter later. So, this is called as fractions. When there is a numerator and denominator. Numerator means above number. Denominator means below number. When there is two numbers in the up and down. We call it as fraction. Okay. When there are two numbers up and down. We call it as fraction. Okay. So, in decimal we are going to use fraction form. So, 10th is 1 by 10. Under this 1 by 100. Thousandth will be 1 by 1000. Fine. Done. Yes. Okay. You understand this? This is the basic. 1 by 10, 1 by 100, 1 by 1000. So, for 3 how do we write it? Instead of 1, we are going to write 3. 3 by 10. 5 is 100th place. So, 5 by 100. 4 is in the place of 1000. So, 4 by 1000. Fine. It's very clear. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, if you learn, if you learn the basic place value, this is very, very easy. Okay. So, I am going to learn only the right side of the decimal because left side of the decimal is already known for you okay fine so right side of the decimal is 10 100 thousand so we usually donate 10 as 1 by 10 100 as 1 by 100 1 by thousand we usually write this in the in this form so if they give 3 you should write 3 by 10 so instead of 1 you are going to write 3 so here 100 5 by 100 1000 means 1000. So, 4 by 1000. Fine. This is known as decimal place value. This is known as decimal place value. Okay. So, there are two types of decimal numbers. There are two types of decimal numbers. <coughs> which is like decimal, unlike decimal. Okay. Like decimal, unlike decimal. So, let's see each. It's very simple. For example, if I give two numbers, okay. If I give two numbers, 
ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट थ्री फाइव ओके ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री वन सो इन दिस बोथ द नंबर्स वी हैव टू चेक विद इट्स अ लाइक दिस मैन so how to check the number is this is a decimal point all right this is the right of the decimal point right of the decimal point the right of the decimal point how many numbers are there 1 2 3 and 5 only two numbers are there only two numbers are there okay fine then let's check over here so this is the decimal point towards the right of the decimal towards the right of the decimal we have 3 and 1 so how many numbers are there 1 2 2 numbers are there so is it same is it same in the right side of the decimal two numbers are there in it both the both the numbers right 2 2 it's equal right equal so we call it as like this much fine towards the right of the decimal you have to count how many numbers if the counted numbers are same we usually call it as decimal numbers usually call it as decimal numbers then what will be the unlike decimal then if this numbers are not same we call it as unlike decimal i'll give you an example Twenty-one point one, fifteen point two five eight. Okay, so in this both example, towards the right of the decimal, how many numbers are there? Only one number. Right, only one number. In this, towards the right of the decimal, how many numbers are there? One, two, three, three numbers. Is it same? Both are same? No. Right, both are not equal. so when both are not equal we call it as unlike decimal we call it as unlike decimal so this is called like decimal unlike decimal we we'll some we we'll see some um, exercise sums uh, over in the next sections okay